rescuing operation, uh, which will be the longest night for New York's rescue workers, has just begun. And thank you, John. And Cynthia McFadden, uh, I believe, is now at Chelsea Piers, a large sports entertainment complex on the west side of Manhattan, or at least close to it, which, Cynthia, I, is, was described earlier as a makeshift morgue. Is that really what it's going to be? No, it's not, Peter. What they've decided to do here is make this the triage center. We've been told that all victims now who are taken out of the blast site are going to be taken here first. They'll be tagged before they got, get here, uh, determine what the severity of their condition is, and then once they arrive here, uh, it'll be, they'll be treated initially and then sent on to other hospitals. I should also tell you that inside this has been described to me, I, you can see behind me, uh, ambulances. What you can't see probably is that there are probably 200 or 250 ambulances lined up here on the west side highways uh, waiting. These are empty ambulances waiting to distribute patients or potential victims all over the tri-state area to hospitals. Uh, Peter. Inside, uh, it's been described, we, we got a look inside earlier, it really looks like a MASH unit. It's 50 operating suites set up, hundreds of doctors and nurses here to treat the wounded. They have been here, standing here for hours now. There are no patients here yet. Uh, the latest estimate is that there won't be any people here for several more hours. Mm. Uh, what we're told is, and I was just listening to John Miller, uh, part of the problem initially was that when the first rescue workers went in, and we have talked to some of them who have, some, some of the second wave of rescue workers, the first wave of rescue workers who went in were trapped, many of them killed by the second blast. And so when the second workers came out, many of whom are now here, um, uh, they, they wouldn't allow anyone back in the area, which is why there aren't any mm. patients here at the moment. Well, I, I, Cynthia, let me just go a little farther with that. You say 250 ambulances standing around waiting to pull people out. You'd be talking about pulling people out of the rubble at this point. Uh, the mayor said, the mayor reminded people across the country, there are 170 hospitals in New York City, and aside from St. Vincent's, the principal nearest hospital, <coughs> which lost, among other things, its emergency power, I think, and lost its gas operating facility at the time, wasn't it, John? Uh, that was uh, Beekman Downtown or New York Infirmary that right. lost its steam power. Uh, St. Vincent's then actually had to bear the brunt of this. And, and so people have gone directly to hospital. I don't quite understand, C Cynthia, the, the who's going to come to Chelsea Piers unless, until they begin to rescue people, hopefully, from the rubble itself. Peter, the, the initial thought, and of course, as you know, we've, we've, been to, we've been to Bellevue today, a couple of other places. There have been hundreds of people at area hospitals, as you note, but they don't believe that anywhere near the full weight of this has yet been uncovered, that there are, are hundreds and thousands of people who have been injured in this blast, and that's the people that they expect to bring here. Okay. The, uh, St. Vincent's is saturated at this point. They're intending, now, whether this happens, but the emergency medical services that's running this medical operation intends to bring no more patients directly to hospitals. They will all be brought here first for medical attention and for triage out to other hospitals. What, they um, have, what they've been talking about is the large number of walking wounded. Yes. They've literally shuttled the Battery yeah. Park and other places. Um, Liberty they need State a place to, to disperse them to. And, and uh, Cynthia, you're on the extreme west side of Manhattan, uh, close to the Hudson River, and Bellevue Hospital is on the other side of Manhattan, mm -hmm. close to the East River. How, how hard has it been to move around the city? Uh, tough. Um, you know, the, it, it, strange though, Peter, because it, it, there are lots, uh, you know, thousands of pedestrians earlier in the day, people trying to get anywhere. But as we came down Fifth Avenue, we were the only car for blocks and blocks and blocks. You could see all the way down Fifth Avenue, thousands of people walking on the sidewalks, and you could see the plume of smoke in the, at the end where the, where the World Trade Center used to be. And you could smell the smoke. Okay. Uh, so the, the city strangely empty, but, you know, of cars, but not of people.